Hey everyone, welcome back. So, this is going to be, I think, like part three of an anti-haul video. You guys have been requesting this for, I wanna say, over a year. I rarely get rid of things because with me being a minimalist, it has been quite easy not to collect unnecessary items. But right now, I do have quite a few, and that is because I am doing a little bit of sprucing up. It is the fall season, and I am just getting rid of things that I fell out of love with. So if you wanna see what I am getting rid of, then let's just get into the video. All right, you guys, so it's all on the floor here. So if you see me bending down, that's because I'm picking this stuff up. But I wanna say the first thing that I am getting rid of is this little guy here. And the reason why I'm getting rid of this little brush is because it came with my new tinier makeup palette, I should say. Um, if you guys remember, I did have a giant like bamboo palette from Elate Cosmetics. I passed that along to my little sister. She's around 22, 23, because she loves makeup and I feel like she can get better use out of it. As for me, I downsize completely. If you guys haven't seen my posts on Instagram, that's everything I own when it comes to makeup and all the brushes. I'm not a fan of wearing as much makeup as I used to, so I gave her that giant palette and I purchased a very, very small one, very compact, and this came with it, so I'm going to pass this little guy along to her. Um, I totally forgot that I had it, actually, when I gave her the other palette months ago, so I'm gonna give her this little guy because I have no use for it. It's literally, I've never used it, and it's just been sitting Sitting around in my house so time for it to go another thing that I'm getting rid of is this now this is probably the most randomest thing ever but if you guys have been following me for a while then you know what this is there used to be a monstera plant behind me in all of my videos along with the videos I had at my old apartment and this is just a like plant stand from Ikea I have no use for this. I actually used to have another one and I gave that one away as well. I purchased these when I first got that apartment. So these have been with me for, well, this one I should say, because the other one's gone. <laughs> this one has been with me for a good three years. So it's time for it to go to a new person. And that new person is my sister. So I am giving away all the stuff to family members, certain family members, because, you know, with the pandemic and stuff, I'm not trying to post all this online and get money for it. And I'm not that kind of person to sell my stuff anymore. I'd rather give it out to people that I know are gonna use it and I know that they probably would want it. So I'm just putting that out there. She's going to use it for her pothos, I believe. Um, another thing on why you're not seeing that Monstera back there right now um, is because she wasn't happy there. So I took her off of this, moved her to the only light we have, which I am in front of the balcony doors. We do not have any windows in this apartment, just these two balcony doors, that's it. So I moved her there. I'm gonna do a whole plant makeover because she needs it. But this is going because I have no use for it anymore. Speaking of things that I have no use for, let's talk about some vacuum accessories. Too much. Um, when I bought my Dyson, it was brand new. It was on sale. I think it was on sale for like 180. Um, it's originally 300. But it came with so many pieces, for example, like these, that I never use and I find that I don't really need. I have tried them out and I'm just like, uh, I know this is for like the corners of the house, but I normally go with a broom and sweep up the cobwebs. So I'm not the kind of person to want to change the parts on my vacuum. I just, I honestly hate doing it. So, I'm going to give these to my sister. She just bought a Dyson. Um, I, I don't know if she bought it used or, you know, she just would like to have these. So, I'm going to pass these on to her instead of them sitting under my kitchen sink. Like, they have been there forever. I've actually had these in my old apartment as well. So, they've just been sitting around waiting for someone to take them. So, now is the time for them to leave this house and go to a different family. Another thing that I'm getting rid of, and I've already gotten rid of one, but this is the last one, and that is my giant basket. I purchased these, if you guys remember, in my last apartment around two years ago for my clothes, and now I just hang up my clothes. I do not fold them. I feel like, for me, it's just a waste of time. I like to hang them up right when they get out of the wash so they're drying over here near the balcony. And then I can just put them away. I don't have to fold them. I don't have to think of like, oh, then, you know, if I'm gonna wear this shirt, it already has like little folding creases. Let me steam it. No. So I'm not folding my clothes anymore and I do not plan to do that. 
Um, I like to hang up clothes, so I really don't have any use for this. We do not have a whole lot of like things that we need to store. I know these are like great storage baskets. I just don't need it and I feel like it's just it's empty and it's sitting like in my closet I'm like all right let me just ask my sisters I called around see which because I do have four sisters if you guys do not know called around see which sister wanted it and of course one of my sisters said yes I will take that it's exactly what I need for my kitchen pantry this would be great for the kids snacks so this is going to her and my niece and nephew so I'm glad that I found a decent home for it because it is pretty big and it was taking up a whole lot of space in my closet. Another thing that you guys are going to be like, oh my god, Kiri, are getting rid of those? Yes. So that is this little guy. You guys have been seeing this, psh, I want to say in the beginning of my channel. I used to keep all of my little things in here, elastics, you know, just random things. And I decided to just go through it, see what I can use, see what I don't need. I had way too many elastics, by the way, so I did give some of those out. So I do not need this for elastics anymore. This little guy is going to my sister. She said she needs this for her bathroom. Um, I'm not sure what she's going to use it for, but she said she needs it, so I will give it to her. And this is just literally staying in my closet sitting there taking up space doing nothing so this is good it's going to my sister it's going to be used instead of it just you know collecting dust like most of this stuff was all right let's get into some clothes and a little backstory with the clothes that i have i haven't worn any of these in forever and i barely show any of them in my videos because i don't like the way i look in them um i'm not going to try to show it too much because it is really bright for the camera for me it's just way way too big for me now um it's not my style anymore and i'm just i'm just over it i want it gone another thing that i haven't wore in a long long time um probably way way in the beginning of my channel when i first started when i recorded on my um my iphone and that is this sweater right here with the holes in it if you actually guys can see it's like super see-through holes coming out you have to wear like a shirt under it um it is really really long i'm just it's just not me it's not me i'm over it it's time for it to go i'm not into the sweaters with holes in them unless it's like a bathing suit cover-up and this is just way too hot for that my sister already said she'll take this as well <laughs> i'm just gonna stop saying my sister you guys obviously you know my sisters are taking most of this stuff a couple of the shirts that you guys are familiar with is this white shirt which it looks very similar to that white sweater too many duplicates um this white shirt and then this oatmeal shirt again i fell out of love with them and when i look at them it's like it makes me not want to wear them if you feel that way with certain clothing items in your closet in your drawers wherever you're keeping your clothing pieces get rid of them they have no purpose of being in your house um donate them to family members donate them to shelters like women's shelters or men's shelter whatever you know whatever's in your area if you look at one of your clothing items and you're like oh i hate that shirt oh my god i hate even looking at it that's how I feel about those. Do not waste that clothing space in your closet. Donate them immediately. Another thing that I'm getting rid of and I'm just like over as well is this jean jacket. Um, I did purchase this from ThreadUp. I think it was like $5, I want to say like two and a half years ago. And I'm just, it's just not me. You guys know I love neutral. This is one of the jean jackets I fell in love with at the time. And when I tried it on again, as I was going through all these clothes, I'm like, um, why don't I like it anymore? And this is the reason why I tell you guys, do not buy a bunch of clothing because you tend to just lose love for certain items. And you don't know why, but you just know that you don't like the way you look in them. And this is one of them. Um, it's just, it's got to go. Another item that's probably going to be a shock to you guys, but I do have a little story on why I'm getting rid of them, are my Adidas sneakers. These are pretty old. I've owned these for a good two and a half years as well. Um, I initially purchased these for when I was doing weightlifting in the gym and along with doing the treadmill here and there. Um, the thing with working out with me now, I don't go to the gym and I do my workouts at home and that's what I plan to do probably for the rest of my life. I do feel like the gym is a waste of money. It, for me, it, it might not be the same story for you, but for me, waste of money, um, especially with me driving there, wasting gas, 
you know, just things like that. And I like to work out barefoot. Um, I wear my socks, I have my yoga mat, and I have my laptop, and I just work out at home. I love doing things in the comfort of your own home. So with that being said, I don't wear these as often. And the other thing is that my boyfriend and I go for two to three mile walk every morning on the dot. We just, we go around town, we go to a park, three miles or two miles, depending how we feel. And I was wearing these for a good like two to three days until I started to get giant and giant blisters and like I mean they were like boils. It hurt and the reason for that was the sneakers I was wearing was not meant for that speed walking for that amount of time. Even though I love the look of these and that's kind of why I bought them, which is a bad thing. Never buy shoes for the looks. If I, you know, I learned a huge lesson with this. Um, right now, when we do go for walks, I wear my boyfriend's, yes, my boyfriend's, some of his shoes fit me. Um, I wear my boyfriend's A6. I do have big feet. Um, I'm eight wide, my sizes, so they do fit in a lot of men's shoes. Um, I love A6 sneakers. I think they are a great sneaker to run, jog, walk. You know, it's just, it doesn't give me any blisters, basically what I'm trying to say. So, long story short, those Adidas's I'm done with. Um, I'm actually gonna give those to my mom. She needs a nice pair of sneakers for work. Um, she does work in an office, but she doesn't like wearing high heels. So my mom will definitely fit in those since we are the same size. So I take after my mom when it comes to my feet. So. She will get better use out of those because she doesn't do any speed walking or anything like that. She just needs some shoes to go to work and back home. So those are perfect for that. So if you are looking to purchase a nice pair of sneakers for walking, running, gym, don't go for the sneakers that are cute. Go for the sneakers that are going to help your feet and not create back pain, not create blisters. Learn from my mistakes, okay? As we're being on the honest route, another thing that I am passing down, not necessarily getting rid of, is this Osea Sea Minerals Mist. They did send me a package of products to try out, um, and I, you guys know I love Osea and I love Pacifica. Those are the only products that I try out and they do send me certain items. This product didn't really work well for me. It didn't break me out, um, but I just didn't feel like I needed it. So it's like an aloe spray, basically. It's a mist. Um, you can also set your makeup with it. Again, I do not really wear makeup. I do have some eyeshadow on and a tiny, tiny bit of concealer. That's it. <laughs> um, I don't really wear anything else. So this is not gonna set much. <laughs> but on a better note, this is gonna go to my mom. My mom loves the sun and this will be perfect for her skin. She actually lays out a lot, which I try to tell her to calm down on it. But she just, you know, everyone's going to do what they want to do regardless of what you tell them. So <laughs> I'm going to pass this down to her and I told her to keep it in the fridge. It's how I was. And it just says that you can store um, chilled for a refreshing after sun elixir. And this is exactly what she needs. So she will get better use out of this, I hope. Again, I want to put out there, it's not a bad product. It just wasn't for me and I just felt like I didn't really need it. And... I don't know, I didn't really see much of a difference with me using that or me using my regular oil. So it might work for you if you love the sun or if you love makeup, that'll be a good setting um, spray for you, a good after sun elixir, you know, things like that. Another thing that with me being honest is that I am passing these bad boys down. And I know you guys are probably like, because I've been using this for years and I'm not trying to tell you guys that I hate it. I still stand by this product, but again, Pacifica sent me a little bit too much of um, products. So this is gonna go to my other sister that does have acne. So this is gonna go to her and I told her to try it out and then apply with a moisturizer after because this can dry out your skin like it was with me. The reason why I am passing this along is because I have fell in love with my Osea cleansing milk. I feel like that's just perfect for my skin. I've noticed way much of a difference than using this one. Um, I'm not putting this product down. Again, I stand by it. If you're on any budget and you suffer from acne prone skin and things like that, then this is for you because this is like what? I think it's like 10 to $12. Um, the Osea cleansing milk that I'm using is very, very pricey, but it's just the one product that I love. You know, when you have that product that works well, never does you wrong, and you kind of realize that like, all right, that product is worth every penny, no matter how much it is. That's how I feel about the uh, cleansing milk, even though it is very pricey. I think it's worth every penny. It doesn't dry out my skin. It clears up my acne and 
I, I just love it. I love it way more than this. I'm so sorry, Pacifica. I still love this. Do not get me wrong. I've used this for years, like even way before I was a minimalist. This is what cured my acne, um, along with me going vegan, like I always say, you know, because dairy and all those things can cause acne as well. This is going to be passed on to my sister. So I'm hoping this helps her out. Again, these are two full bottles. So instead of these being expired, same thing with the Osea product. Instead of these getting expired, just lingering around me thinking like, oh, maybe I'll use those one day. You know, let them go to somebody else. Do not carry brand new products in your house that you know are gonna go to waste because you're already in love with something else. Let them be passed down to other people. Because for instance, I feel like this, what does this last long? How long? This, this lasts us for 24 months. But if you're already in love with a product, then are you gonna use this in two years? You're probably not. You're probably gonna keep repurchasing what you have in the shower or in your cabinet that you are loving. So my number one rule is to never hoard products. I'm not that kind of person to do that anymore because I learned a valuable lesson with that and how much money I wasted and how many products I had that went to the trash when they could have been used by other people. I know, a really, really long explanation for that, but I wanna put that out there for you guys. So I'm also showing you things I'm getting rid of, along with teaching you why you should get rid of certain things. Another product that I purchased with my own money at Whole Foods and I tried it out for a month and it just did not work for me. It made my hair even worse and that is this shampoo right here. It is, I believe it's sulfate free, I'm not sure. I switched all of my shampoo and conditioners to sulfate and paraben free along with vegan friendly and cruelty free. Um, this right here did not work well. It's about up to here now. Um, I just, I don't like it. It's a tea tree shampoo and it just didn't make my hair feel the way that it used to. But um, this didn't work out for me, so I am gonna pass it along to one of my sisters or my mom, whoever wants to try it out. They do not have sensitive scalp, and I'm actually the only one out of everybody in my family that has psoriasis. So, which kind of sucks, but, um, so they won't have a bad reaction with this as much as I did. Again, if you guys did not know, I do have, um, not a severe psoriasis condition, but I do have a cream, a specific cream for it. I have psoriasis all over here, and sometimes it does go up here and in back of my um, scalp, like the neck part. So it can flare up, and certain products can make it flare up, and that was one of them. And the last thing that I am decluttering is my backpack. <laughs> so I have had this backpack forever and it has a couple stains on it. It has a couple rips in the back, um, but it is still a great backpack. I just don't use it anymore. I haven't used this in, I wanna say, since I moved. I haven't used it since. Um, when we do sleep at his mom's house, I bring my little carry-on and we only sleep at his mom's house once every like two months because with us visiting his family and mine, they, his family and my family live in the same town which is very, very far from here so it is a little travel trip and we do tend to sleep at his mom's instead of just coming back because it's just way too much driving in one day and I just don't really care for this bag. I purchased this because it was $7 and I thought I was going to need it and I actually used to use it a lot at my old job. This is where I carried my laptop in to do my YouTube videos, um, my bill paperwork, and this was like my lunch box, technically. I would put my food in here, my drink on the side, and I use it a lot when I used to work um, as a dietary aide. But now with me working from home doing YouTube and with us not traveling as much, I don't need this. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of this. Um, because you guys probably won't see another anti-haul for a very long time because I mean let's face it with me being a minimalist and you learning what you can live with what you can live without you end up not hoarding a lot of unnecessary items so please keep that in mind do not be mad at me I'm not ignoring your video requests it's just I don't have anything to get rid of. So with that being said, I am always open up for other video ideas if you want to put them down below. Um, but I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.